So we just ordered some dog food, dog treats, um, and some small toothbrushes. <laughs> And I found this freeze dried chicken tenders. And the only ingredients are chicken tenders. And then these are kids' toothbrushes, but look how small the head is. Like, you can't find this in the US. I bought these to use on Yuzu, it's perfect for her teeth. <laughs> she knows these are hers, so she's been looking at them. <laughs> I know. Are you sitting pretty for me? Okay. And then I found these body wipes because after her surgery, she's not going to be able to take a bath for a while. So I got these Joy Pet body towel. It has 15 sheets. And then these are chicken tenders, and they're semi-soft, so it's great for older dogs, dogs without teeth. And it's been hard to find um, dog treats without um, a lot of ingredients. So this one is okay, it's not the best, but it's just chicken. Um, this is brown rice powder, I don't know why that's in there. Um, glycerin and propylene glycol, uh, sodium and nitrates. And yeah, it's not the best, but it was better than most of the treats I could find. Um, that was decent price. I mean, if you want to go a little bit more expensive, it's just like one ingredient dried. This is, yeah, just beef. And then this is kind of similar to that soft, semi-soft chicken. I think um, this one's better because it doesn't have the brine, uh, brown rice flour. Um, and it doesn't have nitrates, just sodium. <clears throat> but yeah, um, it doesn't tell you the sodium content. It should, but it doesn't. And this one is another freeze-dried one, so it's a little bit more expensive, but it has pork hearts. And that's the only ingredient. But, you know, I say it's expensive, but it's probably like a third of the price that you would pay in the U.S. Like this one is like $4 for this huge bag. It would, it would cost like $10 in the U.S. at least. And something like this was only about 500 yen, so like $5. And then in, if it was in the U.S., I'll be paying like 15 bucks for this. This toothbrush was like 85 cents. Pretty cheap stuff compared to the U.S. And if you're in a rush to get something during quarantine, um, you can... So if you go to Amazon Prime and then type in Life Supermarket... It's a chain supermarket, and they'll do two-hour deliveries. And they have most of everything. Pet, pet stuff, food, um, household products. So, very convenient. So, if you come to Japan in the summertime, there are a lot of mosquitoes flying around because it's a rainy season. Um, so uh, be sure to bring your own insect repellents your, for your pets, for yourself. Um, and then, but I mean, you can still get it from Amazon Prime, Amazon Pantry, uh, Rakuten. And then, but if you don't, if you forget to bring like an anti-itch cream, this, this brand, Muhi, works really well. <laughs> I have a ball in my hand. <laughs>
so I, you might have seen my previous video that I was ordering a bunch of water, like two liter bottles of water from Amazon, but um, I ended up buying a Brita uh, because it's cheaper that way. And then this one comes when one uh, with one cartridge filter. So yeah, this was about 3,000 yen, so um, $30. And because I'm staying here for five weeks, one filter is gonna last me. What happened? Oh, and yeah, if you're not gonna stay in a hotel, you gotta uh, separate all your plastics, papers, uh, all your plastic bottles. Yeah, they are, they're big in recycling everything. Um, so even like your dog waste, I like to pick up the waste with like a paper towel or bring a, a roll of toilet paper and then um, wrap the waste in that first and, and then put it in your uh, plastic doggy bag. And then when you come home, you can flush the, the inner in, inside and then throw away the plastic. Oh, Oh, you do. <laughs> Whee! And then I brought a bunch of shopping bags because they will charge you three cents for each small bag and five cents for each big bag. Where's your ball, Yuzu? Where's your ball? Oh, 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 oh. 